If you are a PhD or master's student who is heading towards one of the most exciting and challenging area that is research then this is the video that you should not miss. One common question that comes in the mind before starting the research is what topic should I choose for my thesis. Now this is important thing as you are going to work on this topic maybe for more than 5 years if it's a PhD. And nothing can be more frustrating if you get stuck up with a wrong topic for such long years. Initially you may not care about seriousness of choosing a right PhD topic but you will realize it later. This will make you cry for completing your degree, publishing good papers and getting future opportunities. At last your enthusiasm for research and life may diminish. So to avoid all these mishappenings let's start with how to choose a right PhD topic. Number 1. The topic should be novel and useful. Research is not about repeating the work done by others in other system. Focus your attention on what new and useful thing you are going to contribute to the scientific community and society. Think about solving a fundamental problem, filling a missing gap, developing a novel and a better method, developing a software that makes work easy for others, or inventing something which has direct application for the consumers. Fundamental and applied science both have their own importance. Number 2. The topic should be your own. Don't work on the topic of other researchers or what others have told you to do. Use your brain. You are going to get doctorate, the highest academic degree. Number 3. Take help. If you have any problem in choosing a research topic, discuss with your supervisor, with your peers and friends, go through related researches already done, but at last, only if you are fully convinced with your research topic, make a work plan and go ahead. Number 4. Give time to yourself. Great ideas comes not by reading books or research articles. I repeat, great ideas comes not by reading books or research articles. They come when you listen to yourself. I do not mean you should not read books and research papers. They are essential as they tell about the past research, available methods and data which will be helpful while deciding a topic, but don't just keep reading, it may prevent you to have original ideas. What you read in the book may be entirely different from practical reality of your place. Every day, give at least half an hour to yourself, take a walk to the fields or garden, sit quietly and observe, ideas will come. Number 5. The topic should be interesting. 12 years back, when I was about to start my master's, I asked Padam Shri Dr. Mahendra Bhandari, my uncle, who is a great scientist, surgeon and a humble human being, that what should I do in science. In very simple terms, he told me to identify my interest. At that time, I did not understand the power of pursuing the interest, but now I do. You are choosing research as your career path and you are going to remain in this area for the rest of your life. And if you want to enjoy the entire journey of your research, always remember, work in the area that you like, that you feel is fascinating, that you know is significant, otherwise there are lot many people who are just working for money, working for job, working for time pass, working without hope, working without an aim to make a scientific contribution. My area of interest can be entirely different from yours, no problem with that. Our research is our own journey, no one else is going to work on that. Look at the best dancers, sportsmen, singers, researchers, they practice day and night and are well known for their performances and achievements. Average person is remembered by no one. In one way what we see is they are hard working and dedicated. But I would say they love their work which provides them long lasting energy and a never ending motivation. You can reach your full potential in research only if you like what you do. I thought this video is essential for today's and coming generation of researchers and hope this will reach to each of them. I wish them all the very best to bring out the great scientists waiting within them.